Good morning everyone, my name is Melanie and welcome back to A Slice of Heaven Homestead. Today I wanted to share with you a recipe for a homemade fungicide that can help kill off diseases that may be affecting your garden plants. Now there are several methods that you can use to control things like blight, funguses, and powdery mildew. I'm just going to show you one of them and this one is with baking soda. So I have a few things going on in my garden like yellowing leaves and brown spots. These are my green beans and they have been affected here for a couple of weeks but as time goes on I'm noticing more and more brown spots and yellowing going up the plant now I want to be able to stop this in its tracks so that I can have a good healthy plant now over here at my yellow squash when I flip over the leaves I am also seeing brown spots but also what I think is a little bit of fungus underneath this. So my baking soda recipe should take care of both of these problems in my garden. Now I will have all of these ingredients listed in the description below. I have a recipe for a big batch and a small batch. Today I'm going to show you the small batch. So we are going to start with one teaspoon of baking soda one tablespoon of vegetable oil, a third of a teaspoon of dish soap, and five cups of water. Now the baking soda is going to change the pH on the surface of your plant leaves. That is effectively going to kill the fungus, the blight, the powdery mildew, because those things need a certain pH in order to live and to prosper. The vegetable oil is going to help the solution to kind of stick on to the leaves um, and give that baking soda a chance to work and also the um, soap is going to emulsify the whole thing together because water and oil, they don't mix. Um, but the soap mixed in here with it helps those to mix together. And just put it in a clean spray bottle. We'll give it a good shake to make sure that the solution is mixed all the way. Now when you apply this homemade fungicide, you want to give it a quick shake. Make sure that it is all mixed up because they will separate over time. So just make sure that they're all mixed up before you spray the leaves. Now you want to spray both the top and on the underside of the leaves. The underside of the leaves is where most of the fungus is going to be hiding because it's protected from the rain. Now you can reapply this treatment about once a week. Um, I wouldn't do it any more than that because it might end up hurting your plants more than helping them. 
Now when you use this, it's best to spray it on either in the very early morning or in the evening, just as the sun is going down. You don't wanna spray it directly on your plants during the full heat of the day because you will end up scorching your leaves and doing more damage than the fungus that you intend to kill. Now for any of the leaves that are already severely damaged by the fungus blight or powdery mildew, you want to go ahead and clip those off and remove them so that they don't keep spreading the fungus. Guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful. Spread a little kindness and encourage one another today. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, we hope you find your slice of heaven too.